We're joined now by Neil Kashkari, the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis. He oversaw the Treasury Department's $700 billion bailout program during the Great Recession of 2008, the financial crisis. Mr. Kashkari, good morning. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, too, Savannah. Let's pick it up right there. We are expecting this monthly jobs report tomorrow. We've seen week after week the unemployment claims just break every record imaginable. Many people expect what we'll see tomorrow to be the worst report ever. What are you bracing for? I think that's right. But that, that bad report tomorrow is actually going to understate how bad the damage has been, because that survey asked people, are you actively looking for work? And a lot of people who've just lost their jobs and we're all sheltering in place, they're not actively looking for work. So I think the number tomorrow will probably be something like 16 or 17 percent. I think the real number is probably around 23 or 24 percent. It's devastating. It really is. I mean, it makes you think of the Great Depression. Those are numbers we saw during the Great Depression. Now, I'm hopeful that we can bounce back. And I, I don't think, I'm optimistic, I don't think we're actually headed for another Great Depression. Because part of the reason the Great Depression was as bad as it was, was that policymakers in the 1930s did the wrong thing. They did things that made it worse. And I think we've learned from that. And you're seeing bold action by Congress to support American workers. The Federal Reserve is acting very aggressively. We will continue to act aggressively. I think it's, I think it's becoming clear that we're in for a long, gradual recovery, which is unfortunate. I wish we had a quick bounce back. But I think we're going to avert the kind of depression scenario because policymakers are going to continue to be aggressive to fight that outcome. That's a hopeful note. And I do want to ask you about the recovery because there's talk that, you know, there's so much pent up demand and that makes a lot of sense to people. You'd think as soon as those doors swing open, everyone's going to rush to try to ramp up on the economy. The president has said he actually expects a very good fourth quarter in the economy. That's the end of this year and a phenomenal his word, a phenomenal recovery next year. Do you see it that way? Well, I hope, it, I hope so, but it's really going to depend on the virus, and it's going to depend on how well our scientists and our healthcare experts can get control of the virus. And so we do, need, we do need a breakthrough in a vaccine or a therapy, ultimately to give all of us confidence that it's safe to go back out to restaurants or movie theaters or to sporting events. Ultimately, we are going to set the pace of the recovery based on when we feel confident. But that means we really need to get control of the virus. So I hope so. But I think we need to prepare for a more gradual recovery while we hope for that quicker rebound. I mean, for you, is it if we don't have a vaccine and we don't have a miracle drug treatment that, you know, solves 80, 90 percent of cases that we don't get that economic recovery until we have one or the other of those things? It'll be gradual until we have one of those things. So I think we're seeing targeted reopening. I mean, I think some businesses lend themselves to safety. You can socially distance in some businesses. You can wear masks in some businesses. But take a movie theater. When are we all going to feel safe to go sit in a crowded movie theater with a couple hundred other strangers around us? It's hard for me to see that. I like to go to the movies. I doubt I'm going to go back to a movie theater until we actually have a vaccine or a therapy. So I think it's going to be there's going to be a recovery, but I think it will be gradual on a business by business basis. And when you hear about restaurants saying, well, we're going to have every other table, that sounds promising, but I don't know how many restaurants can make ends meet if they are serving half as many customers. And so, unfortunately, the recovery looks like it's going to be slow. And how much do you worry about what we're seeing right now? Because, you know, the virus is obviously still with us. We actually see increasing in certain parts of the country. Yet we see all but a handful of states beginning those reopening measures. And I, I mean, obviously the nightmare scenario is that you, you get a situation where you reopen too soon, you get more virus, and you have to pay this horrible economic price twice by shutting down again. How concerned are you about something like that? I'm very concerned about that because, just as you said, the virus is still spreading throughout much of the country. And if we reopen too quickly or we are not smart about the, the businesses that reopen, it absolutely could flare back up again. You know, we study pandemics from around the world and in history. And the flu pandemic of 1918, there was a wave in the spring. It went a little bit quieter over the summer. People thought they were through it. And then it came roaring back in the fall, and the real devastation was in the fall. And so we have to continue to be very measured and not, not reopen too quickly, because we may pay the price for that. All right. Neil Kashkari, thank you so much. We really appreciate it.